about picking on someone your own size, which I hear is Shit. pretty small. Ooh. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Uh. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Uh. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. <laughs> Chloe just owned you. Shut yeah. the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Yeah. Go Samantha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. <laughs> Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Oh, fuck off. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. Probably likes traps, piece of shit. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problems. You could've... Skip, come on. I like you, but you were standing right there. Let's see. Glad we talked. B2. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Uh, another text. Alright, where the fuck did Nathan go? Or did he actually, like, leave the area so I can't talk to him? I think he left the area. Trying to defend you and your fucking book of traps? If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Marijuana cigarettes kill. Not really. Is oh, that good. Rachel? You're here. Well, it must be Rachel. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Oh, shit. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Hmm... Uh, uh, Sometimes, when yeah. you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. 
That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Rachel sounds really okay. familiar. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable. Rachel looks so happy here. Something probably happened to her dad, too. The ball rolling of dead deads, and that's when There's we Rachel's bang. Belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Hey now, sharing is caring. Okay. To internet or not to internet? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Take the sword prop. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. Sweet collar, Pepe. Should be life is drama. Yeah, doing stage acting and shit, like I could never go Rachel Amber, off drama scripts, star and if that makes sense. Guardian Angel. I have to have a, I still can't believe that a was script of some night. kind. That's why I'd rather do voice acting than like regular acting. Uh, horns for Nathan. Halo for Rachel. We'll do that. Save my life. Get some ink. Oh, <laughs> sometimes we just gotta Pencils, turn up I the heat. You I'm gonna guess it's from you're very beautiful. Do you Logan. Want to go out? I would be into that. Guess who? Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, That's did you bring weird. flowers for my dressing room? <laughs> uh, just a belt. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Uh. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? 
Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't hmm. uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Uh, nah. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. I feel like it's... I, yeah, I could look it up. Uh, charge my phone right now. I feel like that's Marceline's voice actress from Adventure Time. I could be wrong. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Sure, Price. The view's amazing. Hey, weren't you in camp? Oops. What happened with you? People saying you were awesome. Yeah, let's talk later. Okay. I feel like either. Either she's gonna realize she has, like, super deep feelings for Rachel in, like, a girlfriend type of way right off the bat, or something is gonna happen with Elliot where she gets turned off from him and goes to Rachel instead. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Eh, yeah, maybe. What's that graffiti say? Sorrow will have an end, and I, uh, on. And on I wonder forever and wonder if it's just a patient. See, I always, like, try and keep an eye out for, like, graffiti shit in games There's like this. Um, just because, uh, for, like, Borderlands 2, when you're rescuing, when you're rescuing Roland, you can find graffiti that says, um, you die, and then across from him is, like, eye for an Seems eye. Seems heavier than it looks. So I try and see if there's, like, Guess I should sit down. hidden shit like that. But nobody wants to be themselves. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Well, if I knew you were gonna read it. Oh, I can graffiti. We are monsters. Human is another word for monster. Mulligan stew. I was supposed to read Huck Finn in English last year. Now I'm living it. Price one. Queen zero. <laughs> Kill the rebuttal. Gods one, me zero. Easy. 
train boy desert rat it's great to take a stand but just another typical day skipping school with rachel amber all right, let's all right chloe you're on a freaking train with rachel freaking amber yeah, i was gonna go back play it cool i didn't throw the belt because like is this i get kind of paranoid this? with games where you have to make is? choices so i thought oh it hit her in the head so I could ask. and it would fucking should i make small talk do is something that what i don't know do? uh uh, so, uh, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. I am nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Um. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well, I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Okay. Um. Oh. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay. Oh shit, I'm I had listening. a flirt option. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three. Yeah, I know how to fucking play. Two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Yeah. Sounds fun. You're on. No way, it sounds like a keep babies. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York. The land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day? I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? Uh, I feel like you're not a Leo. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? That'd be cool. Like Artemis. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Was it ambidextrous? Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. Oh. I've never been there. Though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list, then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Oh, she's right. getting close. Something about myself. 
Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is eh, at this. I'm not game. gonna cheat. Uh, we'll start with the uh, lie. Um, I'm in a band. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. Truth. Oh, hit triangle by accident. Um. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. <laughs> huh. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. Let's see. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. You're doing fucking uh, palm readings now? <laughs> Who says that? It's a oh, she started Hella. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with <laughs> shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. <laughs> anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Huh. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call Lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. Aw, thank you. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. Shit, I didn't Beautiful even think of that. <laughs> Pity, too. You look hot on stage. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. Hell yeah. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. Her head tilted That's to the all. side there for a second. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Uh... I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Kiss. Kiss. I wouldn't mind listening to some music. Uh, 
Share with Rachel. Hey. I'm not gonna be that listen? asshole who listens to music by themselves in public. Not public, but like leaving somebody out. Yeah, I'm not talking a whole lot during this game because I don't want to miss anything, but at the same time, like, I want to give out what I'm thinking. Um, I gotta get better at looking at the time, because, like, last video it kind of ended when I was in the middle of the fight with that jock. Um... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta start setting a timer for when I do these. That way, it doesn't just cut at a weird point. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day... I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Sure. Fuck it! <laughs> oh my god, if it just cut to credits, that'd be the best. It didn't even look like she was bracing for impact. It looked like she was just falling forward. a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Yeah. Another one. I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. <laughs> this game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. <laughs> well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. But you have. Hey, well, maybe I can MacGyver it something take cash. up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. I need a chainsaw and a paddle.
Mikey. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother. Oh, okay. My brother's not always an asshole. Just most of the time. Forget it. Alright. <laughs> Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. Uh, it was. Oh, I've got more stuff. Uh, I don't feel like reading this right now. I'll read it later. Um, I'd love to get it working for her. Okay, let's see. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Where does it say butt rot? Oh, it is called... Alright. Looks like this one might actually be working. Alright, uh, let's see. Something to... Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Okay. This whole day is out of order. But in the best possible way. Let's see. Statue... Oh, and graffiti the statue. Was this how historic axe murderers searched for their next victim? Uh, Sexton. Stop sextanting the interns. <laughs> Stupid. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. Okay, uh, I need like a rock or something. I mean, there's plenty of rocks. Or... No, don't sit. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Hmm. Wait. Oh, wait. I wonder if I could use this to get the corner out. Martin Lewis Prescott. It. Can I not... I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Okay. Uh If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. Okay, um, alright, so we got that over there, can I, okay, let me try going this way, maybe there's a little something. I don't want to head there. down there just yet. No, didn't think so. Um. Oh, wait, I didn't see this. Initials. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and OL? Yeah, it's a little cliche. Oh, there's a lot of them. That one just. That's just a marijuana. I wonder if I can get that hello. quarter out of the viewfinder. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hmm. If you're going to argue in public, at least have the decency to make it about something interesting. Yeah, hey, fair point. spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? <laughs> this place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. Hmm. 
my hierarchy of needs goes mm -hmm. pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Uh... What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. Raven stands for transformation, its grinning face betrays its trickster spirit. The Raven has many ancient stories among the Sal Salishan, other native peoples. So some say the Raven helped create the first man. The Raven is respected, not never trusted. Whoa, that's badass. Not as badass as fucking Tiki statue. Tiki statue, Tiki totem. Tiki's are cooler. Okay, um... So this was just kind of there. How can I get that nameplate off? Maybe she'll have something that I could borrow. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Oh, okay. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Why not just use the wall? Well, no, that would snap I it. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. <laughs> Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria, Chloe Price. I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. It's just the beginning, bitch. I uh, fucking hate Victoria so much. I know she goes like a redemption arc near the end of the first game, but fuck Victoria. Oh, unscrew- I thought she was gonna pry it off and then like use that to pry off the thing. I'm stupid. <laughs> Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Stuff. Adds up bells on the warpath. Oh no, seriously. He's trying to help. Alright, you killed me this morning. This GM goes, does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. Oh, that's nice. That's right, I was supposed to stay after your school. Oh yeah, not you. Uh, wait. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. I wanted to hand you your fucking nail file back. That's why I talked to you in the first place. First got power, activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. Wait, I still want to play a game, though. Rachel smells like 
Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. <laughs> okay, what a, that lady's cre She had like a weird low poly face when she showed up in one of the cutscenes. Think this guy's married to a nutritionist? He's all like, I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home. So. I love grease. How can something that tastes so good be so wrong? Uh oh, dropped a fry on my suit. Now I'll have to burn it. Good thing I have a giant squirrel costume in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Road. Oh. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts 69. Dingoes ate our babies 13. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> right, what else is there? Okay, what about the creepy fucking lady? And you can't... You can't look at her, which is weird. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow. You made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. <laughs> okay, we already made fun of that guy. Grill dad. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Child. Yeah, child sacrifice. And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. <laughs> that was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Oh, this fuck is off. I just. Who's next? God damn it. Oh. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Wait. <laughs> Jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Uh... Oh, honey. I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. I'm guessing that's her dad <laughs> and he's cheating on her mom? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse what? me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh... Uh, sure. Hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. Uh... The fuck was that? They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. 
Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Yeah. I guess it's happening. Oh. Oh, thank god. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. Uh. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Uh. Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. Wah. It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. <laughs> yep. Definitely needs mouth to mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, <sighs> he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Uh, unlock your potential. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. <laughs> hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. <laughs> You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, you earn this. Oh, thanks. You're the one who really worked for it. Suit yourself. Fucking I downing it. I'm excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Yeah, I'm guessing that was her dad cheating on her mom. I think it's been an hour about now. I'm gonna let this cutscene finish up and then that'll be it for this video. A little bird. Check this out. What? Oh, hey, it's a junkyard.
Oh, it's a mannequin. I thought somebody was standing there. Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Oh. Uh, let's see. Call her out. She's got to talk. Not gonna I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel, I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <sighs> uh... No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's mm. fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> oh. uh. Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel. But apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Let out some Store. fucking steam. Give Rachel the bat. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. There you go. I asked you to leave me alone. Oh. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? Uh, I don't want to weird her out. I'll go with... A friendship. A, a real friendship. Oh. Is that all? I mean. Oh. I, I don't. I don't know. Yet. But I want to find out. I thought Good. Chloe Price doesn't need friends. I. I thought so too. Before today. I. I guess it's easier to be alone if you decide it's a choice. I'm sorry. For whatever I did or didn't do, today was the best day I've had since since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up, because I'm a fucking screw up. Chloe, please. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm sorry. Chloe, I can't say why, and I know it isn't fair, but I can't be your friend right now. Aww. Can't or don't want to. Does it matter? I'm really sorry. Goodbye, Chloe.
Come on. Fuck this place. <laughs> I like that. Uh, your school called, I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better, Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay, okay? Fake and hollow. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. David. I was gonna fucking take a break after this. Alright, yep. Ugh, that does it for this video. I'm gonna continue more in the next one. So, yeah.